What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Got some exciting, exciting news. Guess what it's about. No, it is not about gaming. This is a, <laughs> some old Skull Candy headphones my brother gave me a while back. I'm gonna be on Zoom meetings, so I wanted to go mobile. So I got a headset and I uh, downloaded the Zoom app on my cell phone, but I've gotta show you guys the garage. It's freaking unreal right now. Let me give you guys a quick look. Take this stupid headset off. Oh boy, what a day, man. Jay and these guys have been plugging away. Big time. Okay, you guys ready for the reveal? It's getting, it's getting serious in here. This is the man door, which is most likely where we'll use it on the daily to enter. And bam, the walls are done. These guys just got finished. And now we're gonna gut out the garage so we can spray it. So a couple vlogs ago, Jay told you guys about the toner spray that will spray on there. And I think it should bring out some grays, some dark browns and some highlights. But guys, I'm freaking out. Jay said I could hang mounts tonight. Like this place is just about done tonight. Still need to do speakers and button up the automation stuff, but for the most part, the garage is almost done. They did a little wood trim around the lights, which looks super good. And I think right now we're gonna gut it. It's time to empty it or what? Time to empty it out, clean it out, blow it out, spray it. Man, this view. Look at that view. I love this wood. Did all the way up to the garage door. I can't wait to see the mounts on that. I know, once I get some antlers and some mounts, I've got so many mounts to play with. I think I'm gonna do mule deer all across that top. Do your, the ones like you had at your house? Yeah, like the old barnwood. Which by the way, if you guys remember the old barnwood wall, this is the man who made that one. Yeah, that was nice, that was oak. This is nice too, but. That one was yeah, that was a really, really nice wood. The guy who moved into that place loves it. Really? Yeah, he. <laughs> you would like to go see it, actually. It's yeah. pretty cool. I'm gonna leave the plastic for the spray, right? But we're gonna blow it out, and we're gonna we're gonna blow it out with the plastic, and we're gonna wrap some carpet around the edges. Oh, okay. All right. Well. And once we spray it, we pull it out. We got the blower handy. I'm gonna do a quick uh, pull all the stuff out of here and get it ready. It's looking amazing though, huh guys? What do you guys think? My dream for this garage, like I think I said this in a few vlogs, is to sit here, hit the keypad, and as that rolls up, you get to see the logo, you get to see the wood and all the mounts. And uh, it's gonna look exactly like I wanted it to. So I'm gonna help these guys empty this out real quick and then I have two Zoom calls back to back I got to get on. But I'm going mobile. I'm just gonna stay on my headset. Well, I stepped away for about an hour to take some Zoom calls, and let me tell you what, you guys need to see this place now. Look at, <laughs> they're getting the spray on, and look how awesome that looks. It's, it's wet right now, so it's darker, but look how that pulls out all the color. That w gives it that really weathered look. So this is what it is raw, and this is what it is wet. <laughs> Just like that, huh? That applies pretty pretty, pretty even, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Gosh dang, Show that's cool. Paint the fence. Wax on, wax on. Doing some trim around the paint. Mm -hmm. Got to get the detail work with the hands, Bob huh? Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. I was once called the Bob Ross. I was once called the Bob Ross of butchering. <laughs> I told the guys like, dude, that's the greatest compliment I've ever had. It was on like a how to how to butcher really? a butcher an elk or something. Right. <laughs> it's like you're the Bob Ross of butchering. Holy, dude, this is, that's so cool. Like, look at all the different colors that it pulls out of there. I love these highlights here. Can't wait to see it when it dries. 
This thing's gonna be ready tonight, guys. I can't wait to pull the plastic off and see. Nailed it, exactly what I wanted. Like I said, this, this look, a little unfinished, not my style. I don't like the light color wood. That's what I'm talking about. More contrast and a little darker. Gosh, it looks so freaking good. These guys are killing it. Here's a moment of truth that I've been waiting for. Pulling the plastic off. Jay's getting started. I think the floor is really going to tie this place together. Dude. Dang. All right, guys, we're gonna sweep this up, blow it out, yeah. and clean it up. Show you when it's done. I feel like the luckiest guy when it comes to timing, especially today, we decided to pull out all the plastic and it was dirty as can be. So I reached out to my buddy Joe, who did the floor. I was like, hey man, what can I use to really clean this up, shine it up? There's a lot of mud from the drywall. And this had been scratched a little. And what do you know? He was literally right down the street. Only took him about an hour to get here. So that's the guy for concrete floors. I saw a few comments. So if you guys need concrete work, there you go. Looking at pictures and this was done the first week of March. So it's been a project, so March to April to May to June, three months of a project and a lot of help from Joe on the floor, my buddy Mike Hansen on the electrical and the heating and the HVAC system, then of course Jay and his team on the wall, and then Tyler who is helping me with the speakers. And then of course the guys that came and did all the sheetrock, those guys plugged that out pretty quick, and did a great job. So. This was not possible at all without the help of uh, everybody. Even the insulation, people that did the insulation, Scott helped me do that. So a lot of people to thank, but I'm ecstatic with the results, man. This is literally exactly what I wanted it to be. And in due time, we'll be able to start hanging some mounts and really starting to button it up. But look how nice this looks after he waxed it. It literally looks brand new again. Oh boy, this is so cool. Whew. The weather is not messing around here in Utah. It's already hot again, especially in the old Chevy. Got the, some J Biebs. Any Justin Bieber fans? You can't help but admit that some of his music is catchy. Um, a lot of people have asked, where is the Toyota? It's right there, it's still doing good. Keeping the miles low on it, driving the Chevys. The Toyota is insured and everything, but I just have not really been using it as like a daily driver. Mostly because it's so dang clean. <laughs> I don't wanna get it dirty and ruin it. So we'll just keep beating up the old Chevys while they last, especially around town. Use that for the uh, road trips. But finally getting a chance to step away from the house. It's always nice to get out of the house as I'm there a lot because I edit videos, work, and working out there. So it's nice to get out of the house. Gonna run to the gym. The set of antlers that I sold on eBay have been paid for. So um, there's been contact with the buyer. Super thankful for him, Nick. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get those shipped out to him as soon as possible. I just kind of have to build my own box. Uh, so a couple buddies are gonna come over later to see the garage. Uh, but for now I'm on the road, so cutting off the vlog, see ya. Shut that down. All right guys, I'm gonna cut this vlog off right here. I really was excited today because the barn wood got put up. It's late. I'm leaving super early tomorrow morning for another overnight shed antler hunt possibly the last one of the season but had this spot in mind really want to go check it out fingers crossed that i can get into some i'm gonna actually bring the camera with me to vlog for this channel 
I will also be capturing all the good stuff will be on the Hush channel and the, the entire shed hunt will be over there. But I'm going to end this. I'm going to cut this tonight. That way I can upload it. I'm trying to upload as often as I can on this channel. So if you guys are digging all the videos, let me know. I know they may seem repetitive. A lot of stuff in the garage and around the house. That's kind of what I've been up to. So that's really all I've got to share. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for over 28,000 subscribers. Really appreciate it. Time to get packed up. Time to cut this video. See you guys on the next video.